In the U.S., B. Rose is a household name, having played his way off the violent streets of Inglewood and onto the nation's TVs. In the London borough of Hackney, he's just some American guy. So when Adidas asked us to turn him into an urban icon for kids on council estates, we decided to create a piece of design that connected his story to their own. If you listen to the media, their only exercise here is playing computer games, scoring drugs, and running from the police. So why are you asking if I give a fuck? Society even gave up on me. But where the world sees attitude and trouble, we saw latent talent and audacity. So amongst the urban sprawl and crowded streets of Hackney, we converted their rundown community center into the D-Rose Jump Store, a pop-up shop where all the shoes were free, and the only currency accepted was commitment and sweat. <laughs> There were no tricks, no technology, no unrealistic promises. Just 10 feet of air and 24 seconds of effort between you and your new Adidas D-Roll signature shoes. How did we get kids there? We won that trust by tipping them off with a jump with D-Roll's hashtag in the only media channels they respect, chicken shops and pirate radio stations. Go jump 10 feet. Let's show them how he does it, yeah? The result? Kids started queuing eight hours before the store even opened. And they didn't just show themselves how talented they were. They showed the world. They let us turn an unheard generation into Adidas poster icons. With zero media budget, our event and online film earned over two million pounds of free media and hit four million people in 10 days. We turned 5,000 kids into 5,000 broadcasters. And within 24 hours, requests were pouring in from kids around the world for the D-Rose Jump Store to open where they lived. The idea hadn't just made D-Rose an urban icon for London. It cemented him as an urban icon around the world because his story of effort gave kids an attitude that could change their life. I'm gonna show you how great I am.